Hi there and welcome to today's Pilates session. Today's focus is going to be on the hips. We're going to be focusing on the iliac crest. Now the iliac crest forms part of the ilium, which is the largest bone in your hip. The iliac crest is there to help support the organs, help support the spine, and also allows connection between your glutes, your lower back, and the large muscle that goes down your back, which is your latissimus dorsi. So your iliac crest could be damaged or injured through an injury, through an accident, through natural causes like arthritis, or it could be through the form of high impact exercise such as running or jumping. So we're gonna help repair, strengthen, and just rebuild that iliac crest. So we're going to move into our first exercise now, which is our hip abductor. So as you're standing in a comfortable surface, using either any support through a wall, chair, whatever you've got, as you stand with your hands to your hips or out by your side, we're going to start with our left leg. We're going to inhale and come out. Exhale in. Breathing in and out. And just targeting five to six repetitions, only taking the leg out as far as it's comfortable without force. And then we're gonna change. And after our five to six, take a moment and rest from there. So now we're going to move into the second exercise, which is our hip extension. So you're going to need uh, an extra prop, chair, table, whatever you have. And then just support yourself there by placing your hands, keeping your back straight. And then we're going to start with our right leg. We're going to target five to six repetitions. If we need to do less, feel free. If you want to do a little bit more, again, if it feels okay, just add an extra two to three repetitions on top. We're going to take our right leg and we're going to inhale, bring the leg back and exhale back in. Controlling the movement of the leg. Keeping it straight as we kick back and then changing over. And then once we've hit our target number five to six, we then rest from there. So moving on to exercise number three, which is hip flexion. So as you're standing, you again may need some support. You to stand with your arms either by your side, on your hips, or with your support. And we're gonna start with our left leg. We're gonna inhale, bring the knee up to about hip level to start with, and exhale, come down. Breathe in and return, exhale down. As you raise the knee up, core engage. So we've got the abdominals supporting the spine, supporting the lower back. Targeting five to six if possible, if not aim to what you can get to. And then use that as a target for next time We then change legs. Make sure you pop that foot down to the floor to give yourself a moment. Don't rush. And then once you've reached your target, five to six, if not a few less, then rest from there. As we move on to our next exercise now, which is our heel to buttock exercise, 
Once again, use the aid of a wall, table, chair to help you. And working with our right leg to start with, we're going to take the foot and getting ready with our right hand, going to bring the foot up and then come down. So again, use that wall, bring the foot and release. If you get cramp through the back of your leg, through your hamstring, then just rest. And we're going to target again, maximum five to six. And then we're ready to change. And then after you've reached your target, take a moment to rest. Now we're going to move into the next exercise, which we're going to do laying down on our back. So either use a pillow or a towel that you can wrap up and then lay yourself down. Starting with the right leg, we're going to place the pillow underneath that right knee. Arms by the side, left leg relaxed. We're going to take this right leg and we are going to raise the foot so the leg is straight point the toe up to the ceiling hold there for five seconds and then lower the foot sink into that pillow sink into that towel raise again and hold five seconds and come down and for a third time and release and for a fourth down and raise one more time so this is your fifth one and then relax so now let's change over to the left leg again towel pillow underneath the knee Arms by your side, five times on this left leg. So raise the leg. So it's just level with the hip there and then relax. Five seconds and wait. And raise. And again. Fourth time. And release. Last time from there. And release. And then relax. So now we're going to come into our next exercise, bringing your legs hip width apart and facing forward from there we're going to just lower ourselves into a squat so breathing in you can take your arms wherever you wish in front by your side wherever is comfortable for you and then you want to inhale and come down so as you come down just make your way down to a level that's comfortable for your hips for your knees just start by going parallel to the floor and then exhale and come up really important that when you come down the feet stay flat you want to keep the head up looking forward so you're targeting through the hips and through the legs rather than focusing through the back inhale come down exhale come up we're going to target 10 of these breathe in and down 
You want to imagine that you're sitting down into a chair. So feel like you're sitting back. Just making sure those knees don't go over your toes. And we're going to target another two. Breathing in and breathing out. And then once you've completed 10 or as many as you can reach, we can then rest. And now we come into our last exercise. So back onto your mats, lay yourself down on your back. Use a, a pillow cushion for your head if you wish. And then as you come down, just drop the arms by the side. Take your legs hip width apart as we focus on strengthening through that posterior chain, focusing on those hips, building strength through those hips. So just drop the arms, relax the shoulders. Have the heels of your feet just underneath your knees. Make sure that they're hip width apart. Breathe in through the nose. And then we're just gonna raise these hips off the floor. So it's almost like a mini bridge. A little bit of a pelvic lift. So we're gonna inhale, breathe out and just raise. Tilt that pelvis forward and just peel the top. Just peel that pelvis lower back off the floor. And then we're gonna sink back gently down. Breathe in, exhale, raise, and then edge gently back down. And breathe out for a third time, and ease down again. Just the hips, just the very bottom of the back there, nothing else. Keep the rest of the back firmly down into the mat. Keep the feet pressed firmly into the floor as well. Try not to raise the heels. We're just gonna go two more from here. Just hopefully it feels okay. If there's any nasty stabbing, pinching going on in that lower back, then relax, rest, get some ice on that area and just help to reduce the inflammation. So once you have done five to six or as many as you can get without feeling any pain, take a moment rest and then this is your session for your hips for your iliac crest for today feel free to complete another set do one or two sets and try and get in a set at least one set each day to help recover and rebuild the strength through your hips and ultimately through the rest of your body thanks for joining me for today's session take care of yourself stay in good health and i will see you soon